Welcome to the Texas Department of Transportation Yoakum District's virtual public hearing for the proposed US-77 roadway widening project from SH-71 to approximately 0.56 miles north of CR-156 in Fayette and Lee Counties, Texas. My name is Daisy Arona, and I am a part of the consultant team working on this project on behalf of TxDOT, and I would like to welcome you and thank you for participating in this virtual public hearing. This is a pre-recorded presentation. This virtual public hearing is being held to present the proposed project, present the preferred alternative, and gather public input. You are encouraged to submit comments on the proposed project after reviewing the hearing materials and listening to this presentation. This hearing presentation is available for viewing starting on November 16, 2021. This presentation will cover the same information the Yoakum District will present at the in-person public hearing event scheduled for November 18, 2021 at 4 p.m. at the VFW Hall located at 500 Veterans Memorial Drive in LaGrange. The comment process for the virtual public hearing will be described near the end of this presentation. The hearing materials, project information, and details on the in-person option can also be found at www.text.gov by searching US-77 from SH-71. During the virtual hearing, you may pause the presentation and navigate forward or backward using your video player. The purpose of this virtual public hearing is to share information and allow the public to comment on the proposed US-77 project and to present the findings of the Draft Environmental Assessment, or EA, created for this project. In this presentation, I will describe the public hearing process, provide a project and environmental overview, explain the TxDOT right-of-way process, the proposed project's next steps, and outline the methods for submitting comments. If you experience technical difficulties with the public hearing, please call Mr. John Paul Clark at 361-293-4374. You may also request special accommodations, assistance accessing public hearing information and materials, and language interpretation needs other than English. Please note, discussion with project staff will not be included in the official record of this public hearing. If members of the public wish to submit a comment to be part of the official record of this public hearing, they may do so in the ways outlined at the end of this presentation. Notices for this public hearing were published in the Giddings Times and News on October 27, 2021, November 3, 2021, and November 10, 2021. Notices were published in the Fayette County Record on October 29, 2021, November 5, 2021, and November 12, 2021. Letters to elected officials and adjacent property owners were mailed on October 26, 2021. The notices were posted on the TxDOT website on October 27, 2021. The US-77 project is receiving federal funds, and because of the federal component, TxDOT is required to assess the potential environmental effects of the proposed project in accordance with federal standards. The process that is followed is called the National Environmental Policy Act process, otherwise known as NEPA. The NEPA process provides analysis of the potential impacts to the natural and man-made environments and helps the decision maker to make an informed decision on whether or not to proceed with the project. Prior to December 16, 2014, the Federal Highway Administration, otherwise known as FHWA, reviewed and approved documents prepared under the National Environmental Policy Act, known as NEPA. However, on December 16, 2014, the Texas Department of Transportation assumed responsibility from the FHWA for reviewing and approving certain assigned NEPA environmental documents. This Memorandum of Understanding was renewed on December 9, 2019. This review and approval process applies to this proposed project. The Texas Department of Transportation understands the need for both planning and design to meet the regional needs of long-term growth. TxDOT is proposing improvements to US-77. The project is located within Fayette and Lee counties and stretches between LaGrange and the Fayette-Lee County line. The project study limits extend on US-77 from SH-71 to approximately 0.56 miles north of CR-156 for approximately 11.6 miles. 
This project is needed because the capacity of the US 77 roadway is inadequate to meet current and future traffic volumes, resulting in reduced mobility on this stretch of highway that is designated as a hurricane evacuation route. Additionally, the current configuration of US 77 from SH 71 to CR 156 does not meet current safety standards due to vertical and horizontal curb design speeds and sight distances. Due to the large percentage of truck traffic, addressing these safety issues will facilitate safer local and regional mobility. The purpose of the proposed project is to enhance safety and provide added capacity for projected future traffic in Fayette County along US 77 north of LaGrange, Texas. The heavy truck traffic along the corridor adds to congestion and reduced mobility, creating unsafe conditions along the corridor due to the undivided roadway section. US 77 is identified as part of the Texas Trunk System, a network of rural divided highways that serves as a principal connector for all Texas cities, a hurricane evacuation route, and is located within the energy sector corridor, which results in a relatively large percent of heavy vehicle traffic. Traffic consisting of articulated trucks, buses, and single unit trucks. According to the traffic analysis for highway design, approximately 16.2% of the average daily traffic is categorized as heavy vehicles for the US 77 project area. Texas statewide crash rates for two way, two lane rural roadways such as US 77 indicate a 2016 2020 average of 70.47 crashes per 100 million vehicle miles traveled. An accident summary provided by project engineers in July 2021 indicates a 2016 2020 average crash rate of 60.97 crashes per 100 million vehicle miles traveled for US 77 from SH 71 to CR 156. While the US 77 crash rate is lower than the state average, there were between 12 and 23 crashes each year within the project area, several of which were documented fatalities. Studies have shown that conversion from most typical two lane, two way section to a typical four lane divided section results in a 40 to 60% reduction in crashes. This is similarly reflected in the statewide traffic crash rates by roadway type for Texas, with approximately 90 crashes occurring per 100 million vehicle miles on a two lane, two way roadway, compared with approximately 54 crashes occurring on a four or more lane divided section in 2020. A typical section is a technical term for the roadway design. US 77 is typically a two lane undivided rural roadway with a 12 foot travel lane in each direction bounded by 8 foot outside shoulders. The existing right of way of US 77 varies between 100 to 230 feet wide. Existing drainage is conveyed in grass lined ditches and conveyed beneath the roadway through culverts. 14 to 16 foot wide dual left turn lanes and 12 foot wide left turn lanes are present at various locations throughout the project area. The existing right of way is 188.78 acres. There are two proposed typical sections along the project corridor a divided section and a five lane section. The divided section is shown in orange and extends through the rural portions. The five lane section is shown in green and extends through the more developed portions north of LaGrange and through Warda. This slide shows the proposed divided typical section. The proposed US 77 improvements would include the expansion of the existing roadway to a four lane divided facility. The northbound and southbound roadways would be constructed with two 12 foot travel lanes, 10 foot outside shoulders, and 4 foot inside shoulders. The median would vary between 56 and 68 feet wide. 12 foot left turn lanes would be constructed at multiple intersections within the project area. Roadside drainage would be maintained in grass lined ditches. The proposed project would require the acquisition of approximately 152.74 acres of right of way. The five lane section is proposed where right of way is restricted to a width between 120 to 175 feet. A 14 foot dual center left turn lane would be constructed between the main lanes in these sections. In addition, the outside shoulders would be reduced to 8 feet. 
Here is a screenshot of the legend and the schematics that you can find on the website. The legend is included on each page of the schematic so you can reference it as you review them. The screenshot shows the colors that fill the proposed design. These colors identify the limits and major aspects of the project. Let's walk through them. The proposed roadway main lanes are shown with a black outline. Culverts are shown in pink and proposed right-of-way is shown with a pink dashed line. A black arrow indicates the direction of traffic flow. This slide also includes a detailed look at a portion of the schematic or design drawing of the project. The estimated construction cost is approximately $90 million with 20% of funding from state sources and 80% from federal sources. The proposed project is consistent with the 2022 Unified Transportation Program UTP and the 2021-2024 Rural Transportation Improvement Program RTIP. The UTP is TxDOT's 10-year plan that guides the development of transportation projects across the state. The UTP determines and authorizes the distribution of construction dollars expected to be available over the next decade. The RTIP is a fiscally constrained list of projects proposed for funding by federal and state sources during the next four fiscal years. I will now discuss the environmental studies completed for the proposed project. The project team identified and evaluated potential environmental impacts in resource-specific technical reports and summarized those impacts in the draft environmental assessment. A copy of the draft EA and technical reports that are available for public review can be found on the TxDOT project website. The environmental study identified and assessed potential impacts the proposed project would have to the natural and human environment, including the resources listed on this slide. The environmental technical reports were approved by TxDOT and have been coordinated with other public agencies. As part of the project's NEPA compliance, TxDOT considered biological resources, community impacts, potential displacements, water resources, hazardous materials, air quality, noise analysis, archaeological resources, historic resources, protected lands, agency coordination, and public involvement. The project was designed to avoid or minimize impacts to the greatest amount practicable. Overall, impacts to environmental resources as a result of the proposed US-77 roadway widening project would be minimal. Biological resources studies include evaluating potential impacts to vegetation, wildlife habitat, and threatened and endangered species. Vegetation impacts include 51 acres of mixed woodland forest, 97.6 acres of post oak savanna, 0.38 acres of disturbed prairie, and 5.57 acres of riparian vegetation. Coordination with Texas Parks and Wildlife has been conducted for the proposed project. Suitable habitat for one federal candidate species, the monarch butterfly, was identified within the project area and no suitable habitat was present for any of the other federally listed or candidate species. The proposed project is within range of and contains suitable habitat for state listed species and species of greatest conservation need. The build alternative is not anticipated to cause a substantial impact to any state listed species. The project will also include best management practices per the TxDOT Texas Parks and Wildlife Department BMP programmatic agreement and coordination between the agencies for this project to minimize or avoid impacts to state listed threatened species and SGCN. Next, I will discuss community impacts. The communities surrounding the project are a mix of single-family residential, commercial, industrial, agricultural, and open space undeveloped parcels. Multiple types and numbers of community facilities are present within the project area and include places of worship, medical facilities, a post office, a veterans organization, a campground and retreat center, a school, cultural centers, and the Fayette County Courthouse. The proposed construction of the grass median would increase safety for turning traffic but would also result in changes to access and travel patterns throughout most of the corridor. Some properties would only be accessible by cars traveling in specific directions. Seven local streets, Racetrack Road, Schubert Road, Post Oak Road, Bear Creek Road, Schramm Road, Geese Lane, and Humble Lane that currently have two-way access would no longer be able to accommodate left-hand turns due to the proposed grass median. 
Thus, travel time for all motorists and emergency responders seeking to access properties on these streets would increase by one to three minutes. The potential changes in access and travel patterns could result in slightly longer travel times for other residents, employees, or business patrons along US-77. However, other commuters could experience shorter travel times due to the increased capacity of the roadway. Overall, mobility and safety would be enhanced for all users of the US-77 roadway, including emergency vehicles, due to the increased capacity of the roadway. Disproportionately high and adverse impact on limited English proficiency and minority populations are not anticipated because the project would not further divide or separate any communities. Overall, the proposed design features would enhance mobility and access and would reduce congestion and improve safety for both minority and non-minority census geographies. The proposed project would result in six potential displacements. These include a dance studio, D1, one barn shed structure, D2, one commercial facility, D3, two residential properties, D4 and D5, one post office, D6. These are further discussed on the following slides. Potential displacement D1 is identified as the Saltaire Studio and Fine Arts Center, located at 6325 US 77 LaGrange. Potential displacement D2 is identified as a barn shed structure located next to the Arts Center. Potential displacement D3 is identified as East Texas Radiator, Inc., located at 6933 US 77 in LaGrange. Potential displacement D4 is a single-family house with a detached garage and shed located at 7049 U.S. 77 in LaGrange. Potential displacement D5 is a single-family home located at 7639 U.S. 77 in LaGrange. Potential displacement D6 is identified as the U.S. Post Office located at 5621 U.S. 77 in Warda. The right-of-way required for the proposed project would result in a substantial loss of parking for this community facility. The proposed project would not involve construction in wetlands. Anticipated impacts to waters of the U.S. would occur at seven intermittent streams and three perennial waters, Indian Creek, Raps Creek, and Pin Oak Branch. The impacts are anticipated to be authorized by the United States Army Corps of Engineers under Section 404 of the Clean Water Act. A hazardous materials initial site assessment was completed, and five hazardous materials sites of concern were identified. Additional research, including review of Texas Commission on Environmental Quality Regulatory Files and additional visual survey, was conducted. As a result of the additional research, the identified sites are not expected to impact project activities. Any unanticipated hazardous materials encountered during construction would be handled according to applicable federal, state, and local regulations per TxDOT standard specifications. The proposed project is consistent with local and regional plans regarding air quality. The projected traffic volumes for the estimated time of completion ETC year 2025 is 10,650 vehicles per day and for the design year 2055 is 16,350 vehicles per day. The traffic projections for the project do not exceed 140,000 vehicles per day. Therefore, a traffic air quality analysis was not required. A traffic noise analysis was conducted for the proposed project in accordance with TxDOT's FHWA-approved guidelines for analysis and abatement of roadway traffic noise. Existing and predicted traffic noise levels were modeled throughout the project area. Based on the model, the proposed project would not result in a significant traffic noise impact at any receiver. Therefore, no noise abatement measures would be considered. Cultural Resources Investigations Evaluated Archaeological and Historic Structures no new archaeological sites were identified for the parcel surveyed. However, a total of 107.05 acres of proposed right-of-way for which survey was recommended could not be directly accessed due to lack of right of entry. Surveys and any required consultation with Texas Historical Commission would occur following right-of-way acquisition. 
One official Texas historical marker for Raps Prairie is within the existing right-of-way. 265 historic age resources constructed in 1979 or earlier on 266 parcels were documented. Recommended three properties eligible for listing in the National Register of Historic Places. Coons Farm, Resource 8, Warda Smithy, Resource 13A, and the Fayette County Fairground, Resource 59. Potential impacts to a stock pass on the Coons Farm are currently being coordinated by TxDOT with the consulting parties and local stakeholders. TxDOT has accepted the intensive survey report and is working to avoid, minimize, and or mitigate effects under Section 4F and Section 106 of the historic site. The proposed project would also acquire 2.41 acres of right-of-way from within the recommended historic boundary of the Coons Farm. No adverse effect is anticipated to the Warda Smithy or Fayette County Fairground. The potential Section 4F and Chapter 26 effects will be finalized before the FONSI. Protected lands include parks or recreation areas. These areas are also called Section 4F, Section 6F, or Chapter 26 properties. The Fayette County Fairgrounds property is adjacent to the proposed project area and protected by the U.S. Section 4F regulations as both a park and a historic site. The proposed project would require the acquisition of approximately 0.56 acres of right-of-way from the recreational area, but the acquisition would be outside the boundary of the historic site at the fairgrounds. The proposed project would include the realignment of the existing shared use path and would remove approximately 0.27 acres of maintained grasses between US-77 and the Czech Music Museum of Texas building, which is located on the fairgrounds property. The acquisition would not impact any of the existing recreational amenities other than the shared use path realignment. The new right-of-way would include construction of a shared use path from the project southern terminus at SH-71 to the north, connecting to the existing path at the Fayette County Fairgrounds, which would provide increased access for pedestrians and bicyclists to the fairgrounds property. The amount and location of proposed right-of-way take was minimized to the maximum extent possible. The proposed project would not adversely affect the activities, features, or attributes qualifying the park for protection under Section 4F, a de minimis impact determination is anticipated. Coordination with the City of LaGrange, official with jurisdiction, is ongoing. TxDOT coordination with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department was completed on April 26, 2021. Per TxDOT's Memorandum of Understanding with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, TxDOT provided the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality with a Notice of Availability of the Draft Environmental Assessment. Coordination with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers would be required regarding potential impacts to jurisdictional features. Coordination would be conducted following completion of the detailed design. Given that historical studies are currently ongoing, formal coordination with the SHPO has not occurred. Pursuant to Stipulation 9, undertakings with potential to cause effects per 36 CFR 800.16i of the Section 106PA and the MOU should TxDOT historians determine that there are no adverse effects to historic, non-archaeological properties in the APE, individual project coordination with SHPO would not be required. TxDOT engaged with the public and local stakeholders multiple times during the planning stage of the project. Landowners located adjacent to the project area were contacted twice to request right of entry in the fall of 2020. Meetings with affected property owners were held in August 2021. Coordination with the County Historical Commission and the City of LaGrange has been ongoing. Based on the findings in the draft EA and technical reports, implementation of the proposed project would not result in a significant impact on the human or natural environment under NEPA. Therefore, a finding of no significant impact is recommended. Approximately 152.74 acres of additional right-of-way would be required for the proposed project. Two residential, one commercial, two community, and one barn have been identified as potential displacements. TxDOT offers relocation counseling and financial assistance to residences and businesses that are displaced by the acquisition of highway right-of-way in accordance with the Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970. TxDOT would provide assistance to potentially displaced businesses. This concludes the project information presentation for the US-77 Roadway Widening Project.
The next few slides describe the ways you can comment on the proposed project and contact information for general project questions. Look for the We Are Here arrow at the top of the slide. This virtual public hearing is being held to present the recommended alternative for the proposed project and gather public and stakeholder input. After the comment period closes, TechStot will review the comments received and prepare a virtual public hearing summary report. The summary report will be posted to the project website approximately three months after the close of the comment period. Environmental clearance is anticipated in the fall of 2021. Project planning is preliminary and subject to change. Right-of-way acquisition is anticipated to be completed in early 2023 and final design completed in late 2023. Construction is anticipated to begin early 2024 and to be completed sometime in 2027. The project website contains all materials presented in this public hearing, including this presentation, exhibit boards, a comment card, proposed schematic, the environmental constraints map, the draft environmental assessment, and environmental technical reports. The project files are large and may require more time to download. Comments can be provided by phone. Call a project comment phone line 979-608 1005 to leave a voicemail comment. Comment card. Download the comment card from the website www.text.gov, keyword search US 77 from SH 71. In person, fill out a comment card at the public hearing and drop it in the comment box. Email the comment form to johnpaul.clark at text.gov. Mail text.yokum district. Attention John Paul Clark. 403 Huck Street, Yoakum, Texas, 77995. Comments must be received or postmarked by Friday, December 3, 2021 to be included in the public hearing summary report. Responses to verbal and written comments received during the comment period will be included in the public hearing summary report that will be posted on the project webpage when complete. Thank you for participating in this virtual public hearing for the US-77 Roadway Widening Project. Please remember to submit comments by Friday, December 3, 2021. This concludes our hearing presentation.